Hi, it's Hannah here, and today I'm going to show you a quick overview of how I worked with a man named Luby who had a big mounting issue. Now, her problem was was that as soon as somebody um, started to get on her back, that she would just bolt, so she wouldn't listen to any ridden aids or cues, and it was quite a dangerous behaviour. The advice that her owners had been given was to use stronger bits, more force, a stronger rider, and of course the lovely people that they are, they didn't want to do that. They wanted to really um, find a softer, gentler way and really address the cause of the behaviour. So I think for Luby one of the big problems was that when somebody got on her back she seemed to lose them, that she didn't have the same relationship with a rider as she did with somebody on the ground. And this is actually a really common problem that I see with a lot of horses. I think it often stems from the way they're started when it's done too fast and without enough focus on helping them maintain that relationship and connection with the rider that they kind of lose their human and it leads to the horse behaving very differently when they are ridden versus when they are trained on the ground. So the key to this with all horses is working at the mounting block and for me the mounting block is a really key piece at um, keeping that connection and that relationship the same as you move from the ground to the saddle and it's also a real uh, really key piece for me and looking at how um, giving the horse ways to communicate that they are happy to be ridden. It's a way to give them, for them to give us consent to ride, how they line up and um, that they understand how to get into position. It's a really important piece in the uh, communication for me between horse and rider. So you can see some of the work that I did with Luby here. So I always start with teaching the horse to line up to the mounting block using a target on a stick. Now there are lots of different ways that you can teach your horse to line up and a lot of people like to, for example, teach their horse to hip target to move towards them. But I really like this method because it teaches the horse um, how to put their saddle area next to you without the use of any other cues. So you can see at this stage with Luby, I'm just using the target on a stick to draw her into that position. And then when I'm next to her saddle area, and especially if I can touch her saddle area, that as she stands there, she gets a lot of rewards. So again, as she comes around, using the target on the stick to help draw her forwards. And then when I'm at her saddle area or more at her saddle area, then we stand there and she gets a lot of rewards. So it starts to become a place that she wants to stand at, that she understands that's the, the good position to get into when I'm standing on something. And it really starts to teach the horse that what we want them to do is to line up their saddle area with us while we're standing on the mounting block. I also like to use a mounting block like this where um, it's in the middle so they can move around so you can reposition them as much as you like and you know if you don't quite get it you can just ask them to step around a little bit more and, and find that position until they really learn to stand in that and um, get their saddle area next to you. So this clip was a, a couple of sessions on and you can see that she's just starting to figure out that what I'm asking for here is that she puts her saddle area uh, to me. So she's starting to learn that instead of just going to the target, the position to get into is to put the saddle area to where I am on the mounting block. You can see again it's getting much more solid each time. And the idea here is that your horse just learns to stand and relax. It's really nice to spend lots of time just scratching there um, and just chilling out there, a lot of grooming from that position, all that kind of thing. And again just practicing by moving the block a little bit and seeing if she can reline up and as you can see she does brilliantly really is starting to understand so this mounting block was obviously too small so you can see the wobbles as i'm trying to get a little bit higher up but it's really nice to have a bigger mounting block and practice can they stand there while you go up and down as you start to lean over them this is like the next stage that i start to work on once they've they've understood to line up and i spend a lot of time um, just playing with them in this position. Again, you want it to be really relaxed. It's a nice thing to do um, with your horse and just really want to make it a really chilled experience. So this was a little bit later on uh, with Luby. Um, she was with me for a month, I think. So this was probably a week or two later. She was getting quite a lot of sessions, of course. Um, and by this time I'd spent a lot of time lining up in different places, really leaning over her back, that kind of thing. But I wanted somebody else to help for the first time that somebody sat on her because I knew that she had these um, big behavioural issues when somebody mounted. So again, if you're at all concerned, it can be really nice to have somebody else on the ground just to stand at the head to hold a, hold a rope, that kind of thing, just to make sure it's nice and safe. If you don't feel confident doing it on your own, um, 
Or you can, as I've got here, is I'm the one at Luby's head because she knew me really well. And uh, my friend Helen was playing around with, you know, leaning on her, leaning over her. And again, all we're trying to do here for Luby is make being at the mounting block and having people over her back a really nice, positive relaxing thing and as you can see she's getting a ton of rewards for it at this stage especially because we're counter conditioning it it's something that she's had a lot of negative uh, emotions associated with it we want to really make sure that it's a positive experience so that by the time somebody slips back onto the onto her back into a riding position that it's really no big deal as you can see she doesn't react or respond she stays really nice and relaxed and she gets loads and loads of treats for it so this was a really important step, but just helping to make sure that she was calm, connected and happy from the beginning of being ridden. So then I went back to working with her on my own and you can see that Luby now really understands how to line up. Now we've established that she can be calm and relaxed with somebody sitting on her back. So now I really want to make sure that she's focused on me, connected to me as I move from the ground to the saddles. A really great way to do this is any stationary exercises like lateral flexions that your horse knows on the ground to ask for from the mounting block as you saw me doing there. And that also just makes sure that the horse, your horse is going to understand your rein cues for turning when you get into the saddle as well. But just a little bit of practice to make sure that they're listening and responding. Another piece I do, you can see there I'm feeding Luby down near her shoulder. So an, uh, one common problem when you mount as you're wanting to reward your horse is that they struggle to get the treat, to bend around, to know where it's going to be and to struggle um, to find it and to stay in balance when you're riding because as you can see I'm feeding there as well. So one of the other pieces I like to do is to prepare the horse for that by feeding down by the shoulder from the mounting block so that when I'm on board then again the position is as much the same as possible. But the real key here is that I'm looking for the horse to be focused and um, keep that same connection with me on the ground, on the mounted block um, to the saddle so that our relationship um, stays exactly the same from all these different places and positions. And this is really important when you're riding because so many horses kind of lose their rider that it really helps to keep the connection there. And here we go with Luby, where I'm on the mountain block, as to line up. And as you can see, she totally understands what to do here. So she's now um, in her, her um, back in the saddle. She really understands how to line up. She's absolutely connected and focused with me as I move from the saddle onto her back. And because her issue was um, bolting as soon as somebody mounted, then of course, all this time that we've done just standing there, getting rewards for standing, standing still nice and relaxed as people fuss around her, has really established that she's relaxed, she's calm, she's able to focus while we do the girth up, she doesn't brush off. Um, and of course, you can see me here doing the lateral flexions as well, which she knows on the ground that we practiced on the mounting block. All of this is really building that communication, connection, relaxation and all around good feelings about having somebody on her back. And of course, that completely changed her behaviour as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you would like some more information, then please think about joining the Connection Training Club, which is our online membership site where you can get access to loads of home study courses. So that covers everything from the um, training foundations, how to get started, um, daily handling, which covers actually quite a lot about head collars, saddles, rugs, dealing with that kind of um, regular handling uh, fear. Um, and then loads of other courses as well. Um, Luby appears in the Starting Your Horse Under Saddle course, which is really about starting young horses or restarting horses with issues like Luby right from the start um, again to make a nice positive experience about being ridden um, and she's also in the Riding with Connection course as well so there's lots of information there, hundreds of training videos. Um, when you remember you also get access to our forum and to extra support from myself, Rachel and our CT coaches as well. So we run study, regular study groups, we have Q&As that you can join and chat to us directly to ask ask your questions and um, you can get support on the forum you can keep your own training journal which where you can share your training progress and ask for, for questions there and um, we have we do video reviews we do a podcast which covers a lot of the theory side so there's loads of information there and um, it's a monthly membership so you can join for as long as sh or short as you like the first month's half price so come and check it out and see if it's for you we'd absolutely love to have you as part of our wonderful supportive friendly open-minded uh, global 
positive horse community. You can find out more by going to connectiontraining.com. There's more information about myself, Rachel, our approach, and more information about the CT Club, and you can sign up there as well. Don't forget to check out our best-selling book. Just go over to Amazon and search for Connection Training. The book has loads of information in about the um, philosophy and practice of connection training, um, and you can find out a lot more about our approach and how it works in a lot of different situations through the book as well. So thanks for, for watching and happy horse training.